Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and post questions for discussion. Please check back each day at 10 a.m. for new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I am thrilled to present Isabella by the Spanish sculptor Juan Plenza. Don't look for her in the galleries. She will greet you outside, joining Wind Sculpture No. 9 by Yinka Shanabara along the Museum Drive. Isabella's a big girl at almost seven feet, and that's just her head. No, the rest of her isn't to be installed later. She's perfect just the way she is. But is she? Move around the sculpture, and you'll see a very different image. Many of Plenza's works are distorted, fragmented, or have some indication of human imperfection. He seems to be playing with the classical sculptural representation of beauty, a big theme in his work as his spirituality. Her eyes are shut as if in sleep or dreaming, but her head is erect. I think she looks very serene. Is she deep in thought? Has she had a hard day and is taking a moment? Maybe she's using her other senses to enjoy nature. The relationship between humanity and nature is another area of exploration in the artist's work. Juan Plenza describes himself as a classical artist. He refers to Picasso, Gaudi, Dali, Moreau, and other Spanish artists as his family. Quite a bloodline. His interests include the sound and texture of materials, the human body, faces, and language. He once made a sculpture of snow. I wonder if, what sound, if any, that made. This is an example of a work using the alphabet of many languages to create human form. Perhaps his most famous work is the Crown Fountain in Chicago's Millennium Park. Here he uses faces of Chicago residents projected on a giant LED screen to become whimsical gargoyles spouting water. Be sure to spend some time outside the next time you visit the museum. We'll be waiting for you.